Brown Soup Troy. This is the best file in the world, and this is the 304 reasons why you should only buy a flat top. We're on page 10 right now. Page 10. Page 10. Of the 304 reasons the flat top is the only unit competent pilots only. buy, fly, or recommend. The only unit. Okay, page 10. Dual tank option also has quick disconnect, so you can quickly change everything. So with a flat top, it's one, it's literally like the only unit on the market where you can run equal dual tanks. So two tanks of gas. Now, why don't you just have one big tank? Because one big tank is very heavy. And so you don't want a big five pound gas tank or a heavy gas tank when most of your flights are under three hours. There's no reason to have the extra weight if you're just flying under three hours. But you have the ability to quick release and quickly pop in and a same size dual tank doubling the fuel economy or the fuel uh, limit. So you have the full five gallon legal limit for an ultralight. So you can make the super long flights if you want to pop the tank in. But as soon as you're done, you can pop the tank back off for the shorter flights. So you always have the least amount of weight giving you such a lightweight paramotor that even a 12 year old can launch it. Could you launch this when you were 12? Yeah. Yeah. I launched it on my 12th birthday. Yeah, when he was barely 12, yep. Okay, high flow fuel filter helps prevent motor failures. Uh, fuel, actually, first of all, it has a fuel filter because most of the units out there, a lot of the units, they don't even have a fuel filter. And so crap will build up in the carb and over time and you'll literally have the motor die and you'll get motor outs. So the fuel filter you use is very, very important. And we experimented with many of them and over the years, dude, <laughs> you've had the pineapple again. It's open a little. We still have another, awesome. Hey, open those up, man. Hey, if you haven't had freeze dried pineapple from Thrive Life, that is the best stuff ever. Forget like candy and like cookies and all the sugar stuff. This is like pure sugar, but it's like natural because it's freeze dried pineapple. Can you get it? Dude, that's awesome. My hands are cold. Okay, so, sorry, <laughs> talking about no. pineapple. It's a, dude, <laughs> what did you do? Inconceivable. Here you go. Bingo. Knock yourself out, don't cut it. All right, don't kill yourself. I'll try not to. Here, cut the bag. There you go. So, okay, the 304 reasons. Uh, we're back, page 10 here. Uh, fuel filter, yeah, we were talking about the fuel filter. So we've tested many, many fuel filters and it has to be just that fuel filter that's specific. If you don't have just the right fuel filter, it can mess up the flow to the engine and the engines don't run quite right. So you don't want a company that just throws on Joe Blow fuel filter and doesn't think about it, doesn't test it. It's just, oh, hey, it's a fuel filter, stick it on there. Cause there's different types, different, uh, you know, densities of screens or fineness of screens or whatever you call it. If you're a fuel filter guy, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, the, the flat top has the best fuel filter with the tightest micron filter that still runs perfectly with the engine. So you have the best reliability. Very important because a lot of them don't have any fuel filter at all or the right one. Okay, lightweight primer bulb allows priming from front or rear and while in flight. That's actually a pretty interesting one. The primer bulb, so to prime your engine and pump some fuel up to the gas. The engine is actually a pump. So when the engine is running, oh, you got it, okay. When the engine is running, it's pumping fuel up to the engine. So I don't know if that's in there, but it's another reason it's critical to have the fuel at the bottom. Because if the fuel tank is above the engine, and you were to have a fire, it keeps dumping fuel into the engine and keeps feeding the fire. And obviously that's a horribly bad thing. So having a fuel tank at the bottom, the, the engine's running, if you just kill the engine, the fuel stops flowing and you solve the problem. So if you did have a fire, obviously that's an intelligent thing to do. Mm, these are awesome. Best thing ever. Get some, these are, Freeze-dried pineapple. 100% pineapple. Dude, I mean, you probably had other freeze-dried, which is really good, but the pineapple specifically, it tastes like purified pineapple sugar. It's just awesome, and there's nothing in it but pineapple, and it basically lasts for like 25 years or something like that. The corn is pretty good, too. The corn's pretty good, too. Yeah, that is awesome. They got a bunch. Of, oh, man, it's really good stuff. I have a bunch of things. Okay. All right. 
enough about the pineapple. <laughs> primer bulb. So with the flat top, you can easily reach the primer bulb from the front. So even while you're flying, you can reach down and squeeze the primer bulb. You can reach it from the front or the back with that access port. A lot of units, you can't do that. So if you shut your engine off in flight, you would have a real hard time trying to prime that engine again and get it started if you let it cool down. So that is a very, very nice one. And we use a very high quality primer bulb because a lot of them will get like really hard over time or a lot of them are really hard to squeeze and they just don't work well or they fall apart and they leak. So it's important that you have a really high quality primer bulb just to make it run as properly as possible with the lowest possible failure rate. So another really cool feature as well as that again is a great reason why you have that access port in the flat top so that you can actually reach back and get back to things in flight. Uh, like the carburetor, you could reach back and tune it for altitude if you went over 18,000 feet. Okay. Dual silent blocks of different densities are harmonically tuned to help absorb a wider range of frequencies for minimal vibration felt by pilot. Only unit on the market. Again, one of those many, many things over the years with the flat top, you know, depends on the unit and there's different systems. We've always had a really cool motor mounting system where you'll have the, the way it's set up is different than just the stock slap it on there setup. So you'll have the motor mounts that are in the frame that go to the frame and then you'll have a second set of motor mounts. So you literally are feeling half the vibration that you do with other types of units. Um, as well as aluminum really absorbs vibration extremely well. So units that are like of different types of metals do not absorb that vibration as well. And so the types of motor mounts that we use do not switch motor mounts. You don't go changing parts on an aircraft without working directly with the aircraft manufacturer. So, mm, pineapple! <laughs> it's awesome. That is good stuff. Just get some of this try it trust me you'll thank me okay so you have the least amount of vibration with a flat top also i think i've already explained earlier the harness as you notice does not touch the frame so your back is not pushing up against the frame like almost all other units where the harness is literally right up against the bars that are bolted to the engine so that vibration is translating to you directly but with a flat top, not only do you have dual motor mounts, so you have a half the vibration that other units have, but you're also not touching that back of that frame in flight. So you get a lot less vibration for a much more comfortable flight. And literally some units like the Air Conception, it vibrates so bad, like your, your eyeballs have trouble focusing. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's like, how could they sell a unit where you can literally hardly see depending on which one you get it's just people do ridiculous things in this sport so you really have to make sure you're talking to someone who knows what the heck they're talking about because uh, most in the sport do not okay soft set of vibration mounts are fail safe to prevent motor separation in case of failure so the motor mounts are backed up and so they are fail safe so that even if a motor mount failed and broke in two, your engine would not fall off of the unit, which with other units, you cannot say that the way that they're designed. A lot of them have issues with that. So with the flat top, you literally could have any motor mount fail and it's still fail safe so your engine doesn't fall off. And even if you had two motor mounts fail, they're still backed up, so very important. Uh, motor mounted as close to pilot as possible for maximum control of weight during the flight. So this harness, if you look right here, this engine is all the way up as close to the pilot as you can physically get it. The like other units, if you look at a side view, look at how close the engine is in relation to the person's back. If that engine is six, eight inches away from your back, then not only do you have all that weight, but you have it on a big leverage behind you and it's like hanging you back in flight. Uh, and it's like the tail wagging the dog type of thing. You get in turbulence and that weight just kind of whips you around. 
but having that engine up tight next to you makes it, you just have a lot better feel and control and it feels a lot more a part of you. So it's a lot safer and you have a lot more control of it. Very important. Uh, Motorman, <laughs> okay, good, thank you. That's my super kid. I love my son. Okay, motor mounted as close to pilot. I need a positive running. Let's see, motor mounted as close to pilot as possible to making, picking it up and running with it much easier and more manageable. So yes, when you go to pick it up, the closer that engine is to your back, the easier it is to pick the unit up. Also, one of the reasons a flat top, the most powerful one, is so easy even a 12 year old can launch it is because that weight is so close to your back. The farther the weight hangs off your back, the harder it is and the less manageable it is. So it is really cool. You've got years and years of experience of master pilots, you know, knowing how these things have to be set up properly. Where no other unit, they haven't updated their designs in over 30 years. They're still sailing the exact same design paramotors with no update. Units like the Scout, it's just another clone of the old 1980s Sky Cruiser and literally not a single update. They don't even have an update to prevent people from getting chopped up in the prop. You've had a lot. So, <laughs> want to save some. those are awesome. Anyway, very important to look at what you're getting. Talk to people that really know what they're doing. Okay, simplistic harness for ease of use and minimal weight. Um, Here's another big one. Look how thin and simple this harness is. Ooh, hey, here, hold on to these for a bit. This whole harness is spectra cloth. The harness weighs two pounds and you have a honeycomb composite seat board, which is literally the lightest, strongest material. A sheet of that material is $2,000. But on the flat top, we spare no expense to have the absolute lightest, strongest material. So while everybody else is using a dollar worth of plywood that will break in flight, the flat top has the strongest, lightest seat board on the market because we're simply using the best, highest technology stuff. Spectra cloth harness. So not only is the cloth strong, but it's actually load-bearing cloth. So you've got a lot more strength but it's so light, it makes another huge weight advantage, which is yet another reason that even a 12 year old can launch the full power flat top uh, Ninja. When you have a harness that weighs only two pounds, most units, those harnesses are anywhere from six to 12 pounds. And so it gives the flat top a huge weight advantage. Now, another thing is, is you don't have the big, huge bulky padding on the seat which is very important. You don't want a bag or anything under the seat. When you go to run, that seat has to flip up, up your back. And so if you have a big bulky harness that's slamming you in the knees, you just can't run very well. So you wanna have a good, slim, but super comfortable harness, and that is the flat top. The lightest harness, but the most well-designed. Also, it has numerous redundant backups. So I did a video out there where some liar was claiming the flat top broke in flight. And so I went and I sawed it in half and then went and flew it to prove that it was a total lie, totally destroyed him. But the, you've got numerous redundancies. So even if you sawed this off right there, the harness has a backup strap. If you saw that strap, you've got a backup strap to here. If you saw that strap, you got a backup strap. So you've got numerous redundancies on that flat top backup harness. Backup to backup to backup. A back, backup. Yeah, you got backups of your backup. Um, okay, and simple light harness so you can run. Uh, the harness, the seat board comes right to the base of your buttock so it's not banging you in the back of the legs when you're trying to run because you need to be able to run fast in order to launch the smallest, fastest gliders or say you want to launch at 10,000 feet. Well, with thinner air, obviously you have to be able to run faster so the lighter the unit is and the more powerful it is and the more ergonomic, the tighter that weight is into your back, the easier you can physically run. That's why you see my kids and I launching on tops of mountains and going fly camping and doing things you just don't see other people do. It's because of how durable and how manageable the unit is and how easy it is to run. Uh, back of harness hangs away from motor in flight for minimal vibration transfer to pilot. So again, the harness 
hangs away from the frame in flight, so your back is not up against the vibration of the frame. The quick disconnect locking buckles to remove harness. Okay, you've got the quick release harness. So you've got the fastest harness, here, hold this for a second, to get out of. This is a really big one because Troy wants to show you the quick release yeah. here. But the uh, we got to speed this up so we don't take too long. It's just like a race car. I mean, it's just simple, basic stuff. It locks in, clicks in, but then we even added a Velcro on top of that. Okay, go for it. And bam, you're out of the harness. It's the only unit on the market with a quick release harness. And 19, I counted 19 people who died in one single year simply because of how horrible the other gear is. Five of those people drowned. So out of the 19 who died, five of them drowned because other paramotors sink immediately in water and they have so many buckles, you can't get out of the harness to save your life. The flat top is the only unit on the market that can float and it has a quick release harness. So it's easier to get into, it's easier to get out of, and it just saves you a lot of frustration and it could literally save your life. Or if you go down and you got high winds and you're getting drug, boom, quick release, just let the motor go, which I have actually experienced. So the, uh, when I first got started in the sport, I got caught in a gust front, 30, 35 miles an hour. Uh, I threw a reserve at 70 feet and was swinging under when I hit the ground. The crumple zone saved my life. So I would not be alive today if it were not for the flat top. Then, after I smashed into the ground and the crumple zone saved my life, now I've got a reserve and a glider dragging me in 30, 35 mile an hour winds. I was able to just quickly release the harness and let go and the paramotor just flew right away. And so I was very easy to get out of that. But if you're flying any other paramotor on the market and you got into that exact same situation that many people have been in, it can kill you. You're getting drugged and slammed all over the ground and you literally can't get the harness off. You can't get out of the unit. So you need to have a quick release harness. A quick release harness should be standard, flat out. Every unit should have it. It makes no sense not to have a quick release harness. And then also every flat top, you get a reserve. Well, there's a hook knife right on the front of the reserve. So your flat top <laughs> always comes with a hook knife. So even if you got the quick release, if you were to get lines around you or anything, boom, you got your hook knife. So you have all your little safety features right there in your simple system with the flat top, which you just, you just don't see stuff like that on other units. Death after death after death, and they happen in the same stupid ways because of something stupid like they didn't have a quick release harness, and so they drown because they couldn't get out to save their life. And that's, that's stupid. Don't do that. Get a freaking flat top. Friends don't let friends fly anything but flat tops. Okay, back padding is specially designed to absorb vibration. There is flotation anti-vibration foam in the back of the harness. So yes, that also, uh, because it's right in the place where it needs to be, but also check this out. Here, hold this for a sec. Notice the foam goes right to here because the back of the harness doesn't touch anything. So you've got the smallest amount so you're not getting all bunched up when the back is coming up so you can still run easily. Where most, most units have a huge chunk of foam back there, which is a waste and it really gets in your way. So we, you know, we're thinking, thinking, using the brain. We put the foam where it needs to be specifically, but not by making it so big. So we use the least amount of weight. So again, weight savings. What's the last one? Back padding only covers portion of harness. So that, oh. that contacts frame <laughs> for minimal weight. That's what I just said. So yeah, the, the back padding comes to where you need it. It doesn't need to be down here. So you don't need all that padding everywhere where your back's never even gonna touch it ever. So the padding's where it needs to be and not where it doesn't. So you have the very lightest weight and we're gonna eat some more freeze dried. Dude, get some of this. This is oh, awesome. Yeah, I saved some this time. It's a Thrive Life freeze dried pineapple. Just order some, go to the link, order some, get some, put it in your mouth and then you're gonna think of Superdell. Every time you think of freeze dried pineapple, this is the ultimate, I love it. And see flat top, you got a little comfort bar bag. You can always have your freeze dried pineapple wherever you go. Okay.
We'll see you next time for page 12 on the 304 reasons you don't fly anything but a flat top.